guys, welcome back to Off the Clock with the interns, the soon to be number, number one, one podcast, podcast in the world. world. Woo! We are here today. It is myself, Ian. That is me, Grant Crenshaw. What's up, Aiden Hodges? How's it going? One Temperance. Hi. Poker. Tempe's back. Sorry, that was a baby on. I'm back. Yeah. Yes, who's back? Tempe's back. back. <laughs> Shady's back. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so <laughs> it's so good to be here with y'all. It's a early morning episode today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we're coming off a crazy week. Yeah. Grant Aiden and I went to a John Mayer concert. Sure we did. did. Sob Rock. It was incredible. Yeah. Have your opinions of Sob Rock changed now that you've seen it no, live? No, they have not. I, I, I th- enjoyed it. Sh- well, I will say he did tell me I enjoyed the songs I enjoyed them on live. the stage right. a lot better yes. than I did in the album. I okay. enjoyed them live, but I still don't like the recorded versions that okay. much. Yeah. Okay. I, I have lo- I fallen in love even more with Sob Rock, specifically Last Train Home. Mm, I just love it so much. That was your live, song of the day. It was, it was the song of the day. Um, live, it was just so good. Yeah. So I good. love, I guess, I just feel like, like yes. that song's so good. I don't yes. know. There's, there's, there's quite a few songs that I've yeah. grown to like a bit more. Yeah, so... John Mayer pulled, we, pulled a surprise out and brought Maren Morris oh on my the stage, gosh. which was so Dude, cool. That was Literally awesome. incredible. She was I amazing. I was losing my mind. Yes. It was awesome. Yeah. Was I haven't so cool. listened to Saw Brock. Keep what? it that way. Sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. So we're going to pause the uh, I haven't, pause. Yeah, I just haven't listened to it. We're going to pause the podcast right now until we can listen so to we can all listen to I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then we can have another debate about if Saw Brock's good or not. <laughs> I'm not like the mass a massive John Mayer fan. See, I'm not that's either, fair. and so that's why this concert so was like, like super cool because I'm it. not like a. I love John Mayer, mm-hmm. but I don't like religiously listen to him or yeah. like whatever. He's crazy he talented, so cool. stupid talented, and I was like so inspired by the concert. And like at the end when he did the encore and did Dear Marie. Oh yeah, and like that moment where everybody's just in the whoa part, and like the whole <laughs> yeah. like whole arena is just like screaming, and he's just on stage. It was so literally good. like the greatest moment yeah. of my life. It was yeah. so cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was your so besides Dear Marie, or if there is another song that you liked the most, like what was your favorite one that he did live? Dude, honestly, it was probably that one. Yeah, like, that was so cool. Like that one moment was just like so sick. Yeah. Aiden. So but the whole uh, show was awesome. For me, I gotta say two because these two songs are the two songs that changed my life and my future for sure. Yeah. Uh, slow dancing in a burning room uh, and free falling. Oh yeah. Those, slow dancing was those awesome. Those songs um Neon's a personal favorite. Of mine. He, didn't, he didn't he didn't do, do, neon. do neon. Or why Georgia? I was yeah, so that was I know. It's okay though. The set list um, are still really good. But was. yeah, slow dancing in a burning room definitely made me shed a tear and it was so good. The solo and oh, Mar- Mar- Yeah, Morris he did it with Mary Morris. That's what I was that saying. One too, yeah. So it was super that cool. Was sick. I also loved was Helpless the one that he did with the guitar solo? Yes. He did a guitar solo. Like Keytars are or not, not generally speaking kind of dumb, but like yeah. this was insane. His, so his keyboardist Greg was on the key guitar and he did like a guitar keytar battle with John and Greg and it was it, it was amazing. Insane. It was it crazy. It was nuts. It was so cool. I've never seen like anything like that before in my life. And yeah. they were like dueling and playing the yes. exact same thing yeah. at once and it was like so cool. That solo was insane. It was That's like really every cool. single song there was like a solo and it was just ridiculous. It's like how do you remember? Yeah, or come up with, or even play like solo after so it was insane. So yeah. something that was cool with getting to go to Saw Rock because I've never been to Nashville before. Wait, which what? is crazy. <gasps> I know, what? I know. My family and I have had like times where we've been like, okay, we're gonna go to Nashville soon, and we tried to make plans that just never has happened. So I was so excited to go to Nashville, um, and maybe you guys can share a little about your experience and opinion of Nashville, but I just felt like it was so cool because there's so much going on and it feels like everybody's doing something and it feels like everybody's going somewhere and it's, there's so much creativity and so much art and so much music. And I just, that, yeah, that was super cool. I'm going to so bring our what favorite word back out for a second. Nashville is like, I don't know. It has such a positive vibe to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. there's so many, like, bigger cities are kind of just like... The vibe of Nashville. Yeah, like Atlanta, for example. It's a super cool city, mm-hmm. but, like, I don't know. Not the biggest fan of Atlanta, but Nashville, I don't know. It's just, like, so... Mm-hmm. I don't know. It just has such a uh, great, I, I great it has, feeling. It has a very hopeful vibe because you go to Nashville to like make it in the music industry, yeah. especially yeah. if you live like sure. in or around Tennessee. Like you go to Nashville. I mean, 
so many big artists, you know, are yeah. in Nashville <laughs> right now. Like, I mean, he brought out Marin Morris at Nashville. Right. Like, yes. you know, yeah. it's, it's crazy big, right? So, I don't know. I feel like when you go to Nashville, like, it, there's always kind of, like, that hope of, like, someone here who's maybe a small artist could be huge in five years, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't yeah, know. I for feel like, sure. Uh, I always love seeing the party buses. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> those are amazing, but there weren't any out this time. What? I think it was because there was, like, a really bad storm rolling through. Yeah, oh, there was. True. And so there weren't any party buses, and it was really sad. No, when I— Because they're so funny. When I was in Nash to see Harry— Who's there Harry? was like Harry Styles. <laughs> Wait, who? The, uh, super underground. The guy who's not as good as Shawn Mendes. What's his name? Right? Oh, yeah. no. Wait, who's Sari? Sari Hiles? I don't know. Yeah, Sari <laughs> Hiles. Call back. No, but there was like seven party buses when we were on the street waiting Just for Uber. I mean, there was like a lot. Okay, whatever. Sure um, there's like a thirty. No, I know. And it's like I every was five like, seconds, a new party bus comes. We were, embellish your stu- embellish your <laughs> your stories more. You gotta lie a little true, bit. True. That's how you do it. No, Continue, but, I saw so many, and the it was so funny because it was all like bachelorette parties, and they were the bride would be like at the top of the bus and like. Wah! And I'd like <laughs> scream at her and she'd like point and we'd start dancing. It was so funny. It's always <laughs> entertaining going to Nashville with my mom and the party buses because she just sits there and just is like shaking her head in disgust <laughs> the whole time. And it's so funny because I mean, it they're looks idiots. like they're about to fall over the railing. Oh, they're idiots. And she's just like, this is just disgusting and disgraceful. It's so <laughs> funny. I love you, mom, by the way. I know you're listening to this. So. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> shout out Mrs. Peters. Yes. yes. Slay, Speaking of Slay Harry Lisa. Styles, though, and the concert, Tempe last time she was on, <gasps> oh, yeah, had I a never Harry got to Styles tell my story. story that she didn't get to tell. So I'm gonna let her tell that. I, th- I think this is really cool. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, okay, when did you when did you see this concert? When was this? October first, 2021. Gotcha. Let's go. Uh, shoes, what, right? <laughs> what time was like? What was the exact? He time? came out at nine. Are you sure? I think so. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I think Got he you. came out at nine. It's amazing. Um, it was magical. He arose from the floor. Like, he came out of the floor. Anyways. Um, <laughs> on October 1st. On October 1st. At 9, at 9 p.m. PM playing exactly. Golden. <laughs> <laughs> what was he wearing? That's actually sick. Uh, an all silk pants and vest with no <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> anyways. Okay. So I have, I had tried to get tickets for Harry. Like, uh, like there was a lot of chances that I tried to get tickets. I was going to go with a friend in Atlanta, and I couldn't go. Um, there was just a lot of circum. Uh, someone told me that I could buy tickets from them, and then it fell through. And there was this girl, and she was selling tickets, and she was a friend of a friend and she sent me her Instagram story that was like, I have three Harry Styles tickets to the Nashville, um, night two. And I was like, okay. So I DM'd her and was like, Hey, can I please go? And can I please have her tickets? And she was like, sure. And so paid her and took two of my really good friends. And, um, I drove down, I drove us down there and got to the hotel, got ready, got in our Uber, which was so fun he had led lights all throughout his uber and they like matched the songs like they would like flash to the bass it was so fun and then we we didn't take any bags so we didn't have to wait in the like bag check line so we walked right into bridgestone then we there wasn't really like how it worked was they did it do did they do this for y'all where you walked into the elevator they had someone take you to your floor oh well you you guys were on the floor Right? Yeah, we were on the floor. Yeah, we, we were, were on the bottom. Yeah, we just yeah. walked okay. down the stairs ours, to the floor. Yeah, ours like they had they put us in an elevator and then they had a guy who like pushed our level, took us up. We walked out and then it was like free reign. Like there was no where no one security checking your wristbands huh. or checking your tickets to where you should go for like nosebleeds or anything like that. And so I had a friend who went to Nashville night one, and she got into pit for free like she just walked into the pit and i was like how did you do it and so she told me and she told me the security guard to kind of look for because he didn't he wasn't really checking wristbands or anything Mm -hmm. and so we're at our level watching jenny lewis who was the opener and we're like scouting out which security guard is like not really checking people's wristbands (laughs) and 
we see this one guy and he's just like super chill. Like people are just walking right in and we were like, okay, so we have to go down there. So, but he was on the opposite side, two levels down. So it was a lot of walking and then we finally make it. And Bella, one of the, one of the friends I was with was, was we were we were kind of standing at the top of the aisle of the stairs because how it was is the stairs just led right into the pit like you just walked right down into it and Bella just goes okay let's go and Emery and I got spooked and we stayed behind but Bella starts walking <laughs> down the stairs and she didn't know we were not behind her and oh. she walks just right in she just literally just what? waltzes right in I mean lights are up That's like crazy. we're waiting on Harry to come out this is in between like his Jenny Lewis's performance and his performance. Yeah. And she just walks right in and Emery and I are like, Oh what? my gosh, That's we're going to have to watch the concert from our seats and Bella's going to be in the pit. Like we were like, <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is terrible. <laughs> well, for some reason the lights went out and Emery and I were like, it's our time. And so we start, <laughs> we start running down the stairs, like running and the lights come up and we have one step left and Emery and I freeze. We were like, we can't move like we literally we're like we're caught and the security guard was looking right at us and i was like oh what do i do what do i do and i turned to emory and i go is she here yet i don't want to walk into the pit if she's not here yet because i don't want to lose her <laughs> and and like we can't find her and emory was like what and i was like maybe we should go back up and wait on her to walk back down. And she was like, oh, okay, yeah. And so we walked back up and we called Bella and we're like, Bella, I don't think we can get in. I think he's on to us. We had totally just like busted ourselves. Then we see this massive group of people with green wristbands walk by us. And we were like, <gasps> and so we walked, we walked on the other side of the railing and like crouched behind them and the security guard stopped all of them and then we walked just right into the pit <laughs> and found that's bella amazing. and we we got we got to be in the that pit is awesome. that's, that's amazing it was amazing that's incredible so i went to see this kind of reminds me i went to see uh the zach brown band here in knoxville at the thompson bowling arena right before covid hit and on march 4th 2020 and uh it was really good so I went with a good buddy of mine, Jackson. Jackson, if you're listening, shout out, man. Um, he went to John, the John Mayer concert as well. Um, but uh, so we were we were kind of like up in the top level, and he was like, yo, let's see if we can try to get down to the floor. So we walked up to the floor, and these people were checking wristbands, and we were just like, hey, can we get back here? <laughs> 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 and then the two the two security guards were like, where are your seats supposed to be? And we were like, oh, we're supposed to be up there in the 300 section up top. Ooh. And they just like looked at each other and this went, oh, yeah. I mean, since you're the 300 section, you can actually go on through. That's, see, so yeah, if you were 400, That's you couldn't come on. <laughs> but, but since you're the 300, you can come they on through. So we got, That's yeah, amazing. we got to go through. That's that funny. Is, that it was amazing. awesome. So we got to see like right, right up close with uh, Zach Brown Band. It was super cool. That's awesome. That's incredible. Uh, there yeah. was like a lot of room on the floor for Harry because he couldn't sell like all of the tickets because of like COVID policies. And so there was like plenty of room. So, and it was so fun. I met so many people. Yeah. Did he do, um, oh my gosh, a gender reveal? No, that was night one. Oh, okay. That was night one. I was at night Wait, two. Okay, what? okay. I had a friend who did like a, um, like a baby reveal. Yeah, she, she brought her results from her ultrasound for her gender reveal for her baby and had Harry read them on stage. What? And, and Harry like had her phone and he was talking to her husband. That's ridiculous. It was, That's it was so cool. That's incredible that's super cool that was sparkly super that, that moment when you get a phone call from harry styles right that's so funny Did, he's done that but like on his first tour yeah someone threw their phone on stage and he, oh, co- I've seen, I've he seen called that. their mom <laughs> and just started talking to their mom <laughs> there was like one i think it was i think it may have been a guy there and he took the guy's phone because and like called his ex and like got oh, them back together yeah oh my yep. god it was ridiculous it was yeah. so funny that is that's crazy but so, that Sorry. No, you go. <laughs> that was something that was like cool about the John Mayer concert. Since we're talking about like, Harry is like obviously very charismatic on stage. Right. John mm. Mayer was just like super like goofy and yeah. like yeah. chill and was like talking to the crowd, like all this stuff on stage. And that was like so cool to see that he was like mm-hmm. completely normal, just like oh, a weird yeah. quirky guy or quirky guy, however you say that word. Um, and yeah, so that was like 
I mean, he's, he's quirky. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not like other guys. The vibe of that concert was immaculate, though. That's great. No, like it was like a huge production, but like yeah. it wasn't a production, right? Like, right. At all. Well, like, yeah. And he's just like such a chill. Like, what you were saying, yeah. like he's such a chill guy. Like you feel like you could go and have like I don't know, a coffee with him, and yeah. he'd just be normal. It's yeah. not like he's some so, like so huge. The question like, is, who would you rather figure? eat tacos with, John Mayer or Harry Styles? Harry Styles. Ooh. John Mayer creeps me out. <laughs> he's he said some <laughs> things. That's for us that I don't there. particularly love. He used to be yeah, kind of wacky, honestly. A, he's he more be, chill now. Yeah. He used to be kind of weird. <laughs> I, I would much now. rather have tacos with Harry Styles. I mean, I, I, I recommend listening, to, watching John Mayer's Instagram live TV show called, yes, called Current Mood. Awesome. It's yes. so good. Listen to the speech. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't listen to the speech. <laughs> no. The bold as love speech is what he's talking about, and it's one of the cringiest things I've ever it's heard. So funny, Aiden and I were like, Aiden was talking about how much he hated that yesterday, and we were like driving back from Nashville, and he was like, I don't even understand like what he's going on about. So I was like breaking down like the spe- <laughs> like analyzing the speech and breaking it down for Aiden. <laughs> it was really funny. That is that is funny. Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. <laughs> So in the room, H. Uh, Tizzy just arrived at our at the building uh, as Hunter Tisdale, a good buddy of ours, and an insane guitar player. Facts. Thank you, thank you. So give us like ten seconds who you are and what you do, Hunter. So my name is Hunter, as you just heard. I play guitar and uh, go to college <laughs> for civil engineering, which is a total scam. But hey, <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. Maybe I'll get a good job one day. You know, that, that's where we're at right now. Nice. Where did you go to college, Hunter? So I go to Tennessee Tech over in there Cookville. Cool. Dude, so special place. So we were planning on doing, uh, also, as previously stated, Tempe is with us. And so Hi. we thought Tempe is going to be a kind of a more regular guest of the of the podcast. So I thought it'd be cool if we did kind of a day in the life of Tempe. So maybe we could do a day in the life of Tempe. And then, Hunter, if you want to jump on the train, talk about what your days look a like. A day in the life of Hunter. Mr. Hunter, sure okay. Thing. Tempe? Do I start? Take us away. Okay, so I wake up at either 7.30, 8 or 8.30. <laughs> Wakes up. <laughs> that is and, accomplishment in and of itself right and here. And then getting I don't, out of I don't bed. even get up that early, and I have an 8 o'clock a.m. class. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> um, and then I start school, and then I eat lunch. Yes. Then I do some more school. <laughs> and then um i <laughs> go to dance and i'm there and then i come home and then i have dinner and usually we watch american idol or sanditon or just like a show with my family and then i get in the shower and then i go to bed <laughs> Tim, around t- like nice. midnight or tell us a little bit about dance because you're huge into dance and like right? um i don't know i just i know a couple of dancers i know we're all like pretty familiar but like for those who aren't as familiar with the dancing world just clue us in i guess yeah hmm. what do you what do you love about it oh okay um i think that there's like a sort of emotion that you find in it and it's 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 like freeing but it's also it challenges your character almost if yeah. that makes sense like like to 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 be able to dance to be able to do things you have to stay grounded and you can't wobble you can't fall over and you have to find the strength and stability of like kind of like in yourself and plant your feet and like there's all of these different things you have to think about. Turnout, um, extension, what count am I doing this on? How, where's my head need to go? Like what arm goes up when? What arm? Like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's it's so, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's, mm, I don't know. It's just, it's so nice to just, and kind of refreshing to just go to a ballet bar and just be like, okay, I'm going to start with plies. And I'm going to do the rest of this a class. Yay. A plie. We, a do plie. Plies. we do plies in marching band. Yeah, plie, plie means to bend. It's a French word. Gotcha. Like anything? Like gotcha. most <laughs> ballet terms. So, <laughs> is, there a specific, <laughs> is there a specific bending associated with that? No, plie it's just like, like, um, like, like fondue. Finger, like fondue uh, would be like to melt. Mm-hmm. Uh, but bending is like you're, you're yeah. pressing, you're using your your specific muscles to warm up your legs and to kind of 
I mean, everything like to jump when you jump, you have to plie when you land. You can't jump straight legged. Like you have, there's all of these different. Like it's just it's so challenging for the mind. And I think, like specific pieces we do challenges, challenges like your mental process with it too, and how you're gonna how you're going to interpret this subject matter or this character or what part am I going to play it's I mean it's kind of like act I mean actors have to like literally yeah. mentally mm-hmm. be yep. this person and yep. I like it's the yeah. same thing with dance and you're expressing it with your body and you can't use your words and so it's it's almost even harder to kind of portray a character when all you can use is your body and nothing your, your else physicality. like and it, it's yeah. it's just so it's i don't know i just it's so freeing and relaxing and it's also challenging and and i don't know there's a word i'm looking <laughs> for and i'm i'm not finding it but i just love it a lot that's, that's okay awesome. we get the vibe yeah we get the vibe we get the vibe <laughs> <laughs> so Hunter, a vibe. what does a day in your life, life look like? H Tizzy's day in the life. Day in life. <laughs> Ooh. Day in the life. H Tizzy. It's, it's riveting. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess I should start with I go to bed. Uh, because it's okay it's so, it, it's really it's early, so in early in the morning, <laughs> like half the time. Just ball um, target. What time? Well, it's normally sometime between 11 and 6, 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Gotcha. Uh, God. And there's very, there's not a lot of okay, consistency. Okay, same though. And it's not entirely, it's, it's not entirely, it's not always up to me, but most of the time it is my fault. Um, <laughs> let's see. I ha- So most days I have an 8 a.m. class that I oh, attend. that's awful. I, yeah. It's, that's awful. Do not recommend. If you ever <laughs> go to college. No. I don't care what anyone says. I did it thinking, oh, you know what? I'm going to have like a responsible schedule and, you know, I'm going to get up at like, you know, 630 in the morning. I'm going to work out, get breakfast, go to my 8 a.m., get stuff done. No, I just skip my 8 a.m. like half the time, and then it's like, which my grade suffers, but not enough for it to be, you know, not yeah, 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 exactly. Um, and then I, I, I don't know, I have my 9 a.m. and then I have a little break for lunch, um, which I normally take a nap. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Right. Um, and then I guess I'll, I'll normally go to my last class of the day. Um, I only have like three classes each day and they nice. kind of alternate. Um, and then I'll normally head to the church for something. Cool. Um, so I'm, I'm at the church three or four times a week. Cool. Uh, just playing, helping out, you know, awesome. that kind of awesome. stuff. That's sick. Awesome. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Hey. And I, then I guess the other thing that happens is hang out with some friends. Like, well, we have the house that I'm getting ready to move into um, has like a bonfire or like a, a pit. And so we'll go cool. there and just like have a bonfire and just chill. Nice. So, nice. Yeah. so, so Hunter, you are a musician, a they, guitar player. They do and, call me that. And, <laughs> and, you, and, uh, and a really good vocalist. And you make some of the coolest, most interesting tracks that I've ever heard. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, Little mini Jacob Collier. Yes. Yes. It's really um, funny. You'll you'll get to hear some of his his amazing creativity in, on uh, my next single. Ian Peters. Coming out, my first <laughs> single, the plug. and then the next single too. After uh, that, yeah. So talk about kind of how you come up with your ideas, where you get ideas, where you get inspirations from. I know you sent us a a lick that you came up with. It was in like what time signature was it? In? It was in like seventeen. <laughs> Is it like seventeen four or something like that? It Explain that for the non musician folks. So like you have a bar of music. Myself and, <laughs> and most of the time most of the time you have four beats in a measure. Yes. So it's like one, two, three, four. Yeah. And you know, you can split those up into eighth notes, sixteenth mm-hmm. notes, thirty seconds notes, thirty second notes. Um and but sometimes you get weird uh time signatures where yeah. you put uh more beats in a measure. So like a a measure that's normally four beats. Let's say you throw five beats in that, and that would be like five four. Yes. Um, okay. And so basically, what I did was, it was really, really, really close <laughs> to being uh, just four, straight up four four, but it was a quarter beat off. Mm. So, so it turns out it turns out being seventeen. Wow. 
Um, impressive. Okay. Impressive. That's sick. It was a total accident, but so yeah. was that just kind of? Is that does that look like you're just kind of playing around, messing around, and it's just something something just comes to you? That's that's my creative process. Like ninety nine percent of the cool, time. So like ninety nine percent of the things you create are like an accident. <laughs> Pretty much. I, no, no, like genuinely. Like I will just sit down because I'm like, man, I hate homework. I'm gonna procrastinate, and I whip out, <laughs> I whip out, I whip out the guitar and plug everything up, and then. I'm lost for like five hours in this world of sound. That's amazing. And yeah. it's a it's a beautiful escape. That's um, awesome. It's a great way for me to kind of like Love it. tune in with myself. So yeah. I've got a question for you going back to our second episode. If you haven't listened to that, go listen to it. It's really good. Um, Hunter. Yes. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> Hunter hasn't listened to all of our second episodes. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Is that a sleigh? That is the slay. second episode slay? Yeah, slay? It's so yeah. long. I'm sorry. It's only an hour, bro. Come on. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Anyways. It's a two-hour drive from here to Cookful. It is, <laughs> I don't it know is I don't. college <laughs> all it's chalked up to be? Oh. Well, what do you chalk it up to be? I don't know. College. What, what question. Your, what did you think about, like, when you were going into college, what were your expectations, and did it live? has it lived up to those expectations so far? I would say yes. It, like, pretty much met my expectations. Um most of my expectations had less to do with so much of the like the schoolwork and whatnot and much much more to do with the interacting with people like and, community yeah the community mm-hmm. the community surrounding college and the, the whole the whole thing about college is really coming into yourself like getting to know yourself more yeah from high school because like most people are just kind of like I don't know. They don't get themselves in high school. <laughs> and, and, and it's just like kind of a, a general, a general thing. And I know that was true for me. Yeah. And I, I don't know. It's just becoming more comfortable and confident in yourself yeah. and the people that you're around. That's sick. Awesome. Um, That's sick. So you mentioned procrastinating homework. Oh yes. <laughs> and yes. I don't, I, don't recommend. I, I will that. relate to that. I'm but horrible. I wanted to ask Tempe, Ian, and Grant. Do you guys procrastinate, hom- yes. procrastinate homework? I yes. procrastinate homework. Oh my homework. gosh. Um, so I, badly. Can I share a story? Yeah. Please. One year. I just decided. I just decided. <laughs> just for a whole year. Yeah, just for a whole year. I just decided to never do my history. <laughs> and and grade time came around, oh, no. and I didn't have anything to present, and it was tragic. <laughs> it was tragic. <laughs> um, Hence why Timpy is not going to college. When was this? I'm kidding. Tra- no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, this was freshman year. Freshman year. Was that wait? Which was that? It English? was like my eighth to freshman year. That was U.S. history. It was U.S. history. Well, that was my mother's class. I did. No, I did like. <laughs> That's incredible. It was like I did the readings. I just don't think I did any of much of the homework. And <laughs> I did. She was I the did teacher, like, so I I had to do right. I did. <laughs> I did like the projects and stuff. I was able to present in class and stuff like that, but I just was so bad at doing my like tech, textbook work. Oh, it was bad. I'm still bad at that today. Like our our history curriculum that we're doing this year is like there's all these questions you have to answer for like each lesson in like the yeah. workbooks. I, I haven't done like yeah. any of them at all. I just like whole, I, see. I love what year. I love what we're reading this year. So I the questions are the reading's great. Yeah. It's it's very it's even harder in college, yeah. honestly, because yeah. unlike high school, it's not required that you do any of it to yeah. technically yeah. pass the class. Yes. So it's Wait. all just basically Dang. recommended um, most of the homework. Yeah, because what? like most it's mostly tests and you'll have assignments, but like, you know, all the time that you spend in high school on homework, that's t- not really required, like required in college. Yes. Um, Interesting. I've taken some dual enrollment classes. And yeah, that's kind of how it, how it is. Mm-hmm. That's but crazy. I, I used to be last year. I think I was the worst at procrastinating homework that I that I have been. But I've gotten a lot better this year. No, I was. I kind of learned. Let's just kind of learn what I was doing. And I'm you know, terrible I'm doing, I'm doing at it. Well. I just am like, I think I always have time to do it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Oh, right. I can. I'll finish it later. Right. And then it's like, oh my gosh, it's made. The year's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or it's like 12 a.m. Yeah. It's like, oh shoot, that paper's due. Right. Uh, right. Oh my that gosh. Happened Aiden, yeah. That happened to me. That happened to me. I have written. Tell, tell your three tell your story. <laughs> uh, Damn, so. Bro. I am taking a dual enrollment English composition one class with a university in Tennessee. Um, and uh, so I had an essay to do for this class and I finished the essay like actually well, I did very well in the essay. I finished it well before it was due. 
Um, but I forgot if I turned it in or not at the John Mayer concert. Oh. So he, oh. he, was, he was in his encore set, like literally the second Dear, to last Dear song. Dear Marie. Dear Marie. And I was like on Aid my phone. Whips out his phone. My phone was riding on 1%. 1%. Oh my God. I he, was on, my he was on 5%. It made it the whole the start of like the concert. Five the concert. hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everyone, Hunter so went weird. to the concert as well. Yes, Hunter was yes. with us as well. I, I yes. was at John Deere. Yes, Him it was, it was Mr. Lovely. Tisdale. It was pretty Shout awesome. out, Mr. Yes. Tisdale. Um, so, Lord yeah, tickets. but... It's amazing. I got to put my fears to rest. I did turn in the homework. <laughs> Uh, there was actually but, one time... Hold on. But in but, the video, I was in the middle of taking. <laughs> you hear Aiden go, Oh, my gosh! I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> it was ridiculous. It was Freaking so out. It, it, he was losing it. It, it kind of reminded me um, when I was a junior in high school last year, I took another online class from this same university. And this class was U.S. history. Uh, loved the class. Really easy. Super easy, actually. So we had weekly homework assignments. Like there were homework assignments that like he told you to do, but then there was like one a week that you had to do. Uh, and it was like 60 questions that you just go and go and go. And you have to get enough right that you get a certain number of points. Mm-hmm. And these things take a while, like a while. So imagine my uh, where my mind went when it was 1147. So exact. <laughs> 12 oh, no. minutes before the assignment was due. Yikes. So I like found notes I was like, oh, no. I was about to go to bed, and I was like, oh, no. I got to do this right now. <laughs> so oh I found, like, I found like a bunch of notes on uh, Google, and then I, like, pulled up, like, the textbook, my textbook on one screen, <laughs> and then the notes on Google yeah. on the other, and just, like, ground the whole thing out in 11 minutes. I turned it into 11.58. That, Dude, I, that has happened, like, more times than I can count in, <laughs> since I've been in college, because all of my deadlines are, like, exactly, at, like, 11.59 p.m. Yes. yeah. And I think I wrote and recorded like a speech, like a whole, a whole five minute speech, um, at from nine o'clock PM to 1159. And I got it in at 1158 PM. <laughs> I got the actual That's file impressive. submitted. That is hilarious. That's impressive. Okay. I'm going to do a gear change. Yep. Y'all. You want to hit us with a fun question? I do. Is this the I questions? have a couple of dumb questions for y'all. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm so How ready. How long could you survive in a horror movie? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Like, like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, honestly, me too. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, what? 30 seconds, dude. Think about this. Actually, I feel movie. like I could. I could literally like last for like five or six horror movies. Well, I was I about mean, to say, I would live through it. People I think are idiots in these that, movies. That is very true. Just don't make bad decisions, you know? I don't mean, make it's dumb like decisions. the most basic stuff that they just yeah. mess up on. To be fair, though, when your adrenaline's running that high and you're yeah. running from yeah. a psychopathic killer, Hunter, how very hard true. is it really to make, you know, true Well, I think it depends on the type decisions. of horror movie that you're in. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like, as to what the... Well, quantify what the types are. You. I don't... I don't know, but like one, it's like, you know, the Halloween movies. Like that one, I would not survive. See, I don't watch horror movies. I don't Me neither. So I wouldn't really really know what it takes to survive (laughs) in one. I love, I love like the stereotypical (laughs) horror movie that's just like, you know, really dumb. It's just somebody with a chainsaw, like running around trying to like chop your head off. I I love that. would be pretty easy. I got think that required physical prowess. I would not <laughs> If it relied on my mental capacity, uh, sure, I might be okay. But I, yeah. I got to say that I love us just like all dropping our opinions on horror movies and if we could survive. And then every single one of us is like, I don't watch those. <laughs> yeah. okay, I, like probably, the I few probably watch the most out of that I've everybody. seen. Probably. Yeah. The simple yeah. answer is get in a car and drive away. No, it's never that easy. It really is, though. <laughs> Have but- you seen Get Out? I love Get Out. I love oh my gosh! One, I refuse to watch that movie. No, why? You gotta watch that movie. Why? I just did. Yeah. It's oh, legit one of the best movies I've ever watch. seen. I, w- I wanted to watch it, and then him and my roommate no, it was, is, like refused. Like, Dude, it no, is so good. No, legit. It was it's like three a.m. in the morning. No, and I was like absolutely. No, you, you have to watch no, it. No, you have. Ian, I'm making you watch that movie. That no, is one of the best movies. No, can we all watch it together? Have to watch it with me. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it five times. Me and my friend Drew. I love it. 
Me and my friend Drew McKinney so, like love no, that movie. We've we seen it okay. so many I'll times. I'll watch it with you, Grant. Okay, That's bet. Fine. We're we're legit watching. I'll we're watching text, it on the LED wall. I'll send a text. <laughs> I'll send a text out in the lady in the lads group chat, and we're gonna have a get out watch party. Let's go straight okay. up. I'm down. That's fair. Okay. I'm um. That. Yeah, I feel like there's some horror movies <laughs> that like. I don't know if it's like supernatural horror or whatever, like that crap, like that. I you're would, not surviving. You're that. not surviving that, but like, if it's like a slasher, I feel like I'd be okay. Yeah, I feel exactly. like I, yeah. I'd survive. I find a shotgun and I just I I make it out alive. Exactly. Like, camp like in the not... corner if they try to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I could never. Basically. Then, I'd be the one that's like, oh, let's hide in the closet. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Where the people, slasher people is, yes. Pick these, like, those movies are like, oh, we'll hide in the closet. Let's crawl under the bed. It's like, no, just like. No, just, Run just away. exit. Just leave. <laughs> exit the household. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, there's my first dumb question. So now Hit on to the second. second question. So ready. How long? I don't know if this. Yeah, I guess it's kind of dumb. How long could you go without talking? Oh, I think I could. Like, okay, I could tell me how loses, long. Tell me loses. She said something first. Oh. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Because I'm like literally Aiden and I, I both thinking, talking. I was like, <laughs> I was like, thinking, actually, no, I thought I was you were thinking serious. Just, I was thinking it'd be really funny if Ian asked that question and nobody said anything, and the first person to say something loses the game. <laughs> I that could be a whole podcast episode. I didn't know that I was sitting here in the first person to talk. If someone plays, like, I can sit and be silent, but if someone plays a One Direction or Harry Con- so, so, a Harry Styles song, I'm out. I will sing. Okay, so here, let me let me spice the question up then. If you're getting paid $10,000 every day that you don't say a word, how long could you go without talking? Dude, I could shut up. Oh, for a long I wouldn't time. talk. Yeah. Are you sure though? I'm positive. Grant's not Grant's, speaking. Grant, Grant's Grant and not Hunter speaking. are not, are not giving anything. <laughs> you guys are aware I'm not giving you $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> They just shrugged. <laughs> they didn't do anything. Grant just unzips his Gentlemen, well done, well done. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I feel like I could go a very long time. I mean, it would be hard, but I could probably go a very long time yeah. without talking and make Wait, some Wait, are you allowed to text, bad. though? If you can text. Nah. Especially. Ooh, nah. You can't text. I say let's eliminate nah, texting. let's just go, okay. like, communication. Like, you can't text. Like, obviously, okay. you, you, you can, like... I'm just saying, you could learn, uh, ES, like, English Sign Language ASL. in that time. A- ASL, yeah. Or AS, sorry. You're fine. Um, and it would be... I, that would be fantastic. I think that's a great skill to have. Yes, absolutely. And this would be a Not great that reason that, that you're getting paid. <laughs> you're basically getting paid to learn sign language. Really? Pretty much. But oh like, yeah, because it's ten grand. Yeah. Yeah. But like, think about that. How oh, inconvenient yeah. that would be, though. Like trying to order, dude, food and like inconvenient. I'm I'm, I'm getting DoorDash. enough money to survive. Like, it's true. Yeah, it's I have true. always the, the wanted to learn ASL, and I know yeah. a little bit of it, but um. Yeah, that is something I've always wanted to learn anyway, so yeah. I would so love to. So might as well get paid $10,000 right. while That's doing it. what I'm it. saying. For sure, for sure. <laughs> well, those are my those are my dumb questions. Those are the two you had? Yeah, those were like kind of kind of quick. We just shot right through them. Hunter and Tempe, thank you guys for joining us. I think, are we ready to wrap up? Do we want to wrap up? I think it's Sure. Uh, all I right. Mean, are we wrapping up? We're in the podcast. <laughs> 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 the podcast. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, thanks so much for listening to this episode of Off the Clock with the interns. Hunter, thanks and for... Hunter and Tempe. Yeah. Hunter and I thank, were the guests, and I don't know why us. I'm closing it, because this is not my <laughs> podcast, but thanks so much for listening, and we hope you listen all the other Tuesdays that we release episodes <laughs> and break. <laughs> See <ya>. yeah. Bye. <laughs> Guys, thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. If you want to watch our last video or keep up with our latest podcast, click right up here. And if you want to subscribe to Off The Clock YouTube, click right down there. Hit the bell if you want to get any notifications, and we'll see you guys next time.